Hello everyone! Can you believe it's already July? In this edition of What's New in Reich, we will focus on updates that happened in the months of June. We will talk about some tweaks in new Reich experience and highly anticipated ability to duplicate reports, go over the GA of AI recommended tasks and the new features of workload chart. We will also discuss a small change in user expert list, a new possibility for users to self-assign work schedules, and table view enhancements. Finally, we will mention the announcement of new onboarding templates. Now you can access pinned items from anywhere in New Rack Experience. Remember the times when the pinned items showed up at the top of your folder tree in the classic Rack navigation? Those times are back. Pinned folders, projects, tools, and custom views now appear at the top of the left-hand navigation menu for all users with new Rack experience. Just click the hamburger icon and you will see the pinned section. Additionally, users can expand the structure of pinned folders or projects under the hamburger menu, just like they do with other items in the folder tree. Say welcome to Report Duplication option. A long anticipated feature is here. Reports can now be duplicated, either by right-clicking the report in your list of reports or using the three-dot menu in the report itself. Both these options will open a dialog box where you can specify a new title, location, layout, grouping, and everything else. Please note, only users with full or editor access roles to a report can duplicate it. AI recommended tasks is out of labs and is now available to all users on all accounts. The AI recommended tasks widget is displayed on your homepage and predicts which of all tasks assigned to you require your attention first. The more you interact with different tasks inside of Rake, the more accurate the prediction is. You can close the tasks which you think are not relevant for you. We added a new mode for workload charts, projects. In this mode, the main focus of the chart are projects, which can help users understand the distribution of resources across their project portfolio. To switch to projects mode, click the view by drop down on the left side of the chart settings panel and select projects. When users switch to this mode, they see the list of projects from this location selected as the source for the current workload chart. When you click the caret icon next to a project's name, you see the list of users that are assigned to tasks in the project and are part of the current workload chart. You also see the list of drop roles that match the roles of users who are part of the current chart. Additionally, there can be the unassigned section where you can view all scheduled unassigned tasks in the current project. Please note, horizontal backlog box is not available in the projects mode. It is also not possible to group tasks by drop role or projects in this mode. Default backlog box logic has changed. Previously, the backlog box was empty and users had to configure it separately, which might have been a separate source of confusion for some. After the recent update, the backlog box is pre-configured to include tasks from the same location that the workload chart uses as the task source. Users can change that in the backlog box settings by selecting somewhere else. Now, when account admins and owners export the user list, they can choose to export drop role titles too. We added the corresponding checkbox to the advanced settings on the export pop-up. Users on all business and higher accounts, except for collaborators, are now able to reassign themselves to any existing work schedule in their account. This can be done in personal settings in the work schedule tab. Table view got better. We have optimized the loading time of table view. Now when users open the location with more than 1000 tasks in table view, RAC will automatically display only active tasks of the current user to make the table load faster. There will be a notification about it at the top of the table and users can proactively change the filters if needed or click revert to previous filters. 
One more table view enhancement is the ability to create tasks, folders and projects from blueprints using the folder project context menu. Right-click a folder or a project from the table view, hover over add item and there you have it! Rike's onboarding templates gallery has 8 new additions to it. The new templates create entire spaces which users can connect to tools like dashboards and report, create and apply views and workflows, tie custom fields to request forms, and much more. Go check them out! This is the list of 8 new ones. Creative Production, Risk Assessment, Citrix Cloud Migration Cookbook, Client Contract Management, Request Management, Employee Onboarding and Offboarding, Business Operations, Sales Operation. Please note, the new templates are available for accounts with English set in language settings.